Hey, what's going on, guys? We finally have the last piece of the puzzle. We finally have trial three, arc one, two, and three done. This is the video for arc one. If you want to download the macro for either for trial three for arc one, two, or three, it will be linked in the description below in my Discord or in the comment section. But this video is going to be for arc one for the people who can't really AFK uh, arc two and get the, um, the uh, coins. So the units you're going to be needing are Spade, Magma, Ramen, Shirtless, Magician, and then Aaron. So for Spade, the build for him is going to be three employments build. You can go for the fourth like uh, skill if you want to, but I just went for all employment because you have a higher chance of getting double money. And then for Magma. You are gonna be his build is pretty much nothing. He's, he's he is gonna be your DPS for the ground units. So and then uh, the spade is gonna be the DPS to attack Frieza. These are gonna attack the ground on wave 15. So if I were you, I would get him him to damage. But that's the, pretty much the only uh, skill tree that you really need is for spade and then employment on him. So let's just uh, head to the trials to get. When once you're in here, the lineup for this will be take off your tab over here and go over here and pretty much face towards this thing right here and get as close as you can and once you're as close as you can you zoom all the way out and oh i line that perfectly and then what you want to do is angle your camera and go like this and then line up the wave symbol right here near the middle of the road like this and that's pretty much the lineup set your game to two times speed and uh, i'm going to show you how to create this macro so what you're going to need is your tiny task and on wave zero, you're going to be placing your farm unit and starting the game. And then after wave one hits, uh, you're going to wait until wave two. And then when wave two arrives, what you're going to do is place your next two farm units down so you can farm. And then this is the key part here for wave three. You're going to be placing your uh, aces on the rock right here on the hill. And then make sure you spam place a couple because uh, sometimes Tiny Task doesn't place them down, and then you want to switch places over and over just in case it missed a spot or you didn't gain enough money during that time. And what you want to do is place all four, but be cautious because the card might spawn in like that, and then you're, you you don't want to press the blue card by accident. And then way four hits, you're going to want to do is place down your uh, four farm unit and then upgrade your spade. Uh, upgrade your spade evenly throughout all four of them if you want you all you're just pretty much using a spade for the employment ability and then uh however you want wave five through like whatever uh what do you want to do is place down your errands and activate his ability after this i do a couple of times because his tiny task again is really glitchy and then i press him uh to summon the errand and then what you want to do is pretty much look back and forth. Is your lane struggling? Is your lane not struggling? Upgrade your farm if your lane is not struggling. And then if your lane is struggling a little or the boss is coming near, upgrade the spade in the middle. You don't really have to upgrade your spade to the max level. What you want to do is get them probably near third last or second last upgrade before wave 15. And then what do you want to do for wave 15 is, of course, upgrade your magmas to near max or the second to last so they do DPS to the ground units instead of Frieza. And then wave 8 hits, all I'm all going to do is just upgrade the farm units. What do you want to do is try to max out your farm as early as you can while maintaining a way to not lose. And then make sure to uh, get all four of your errands down because they are your major shield breakers. Because the bosses do have a lot of shields, even the normal mobs themselves have a lot of shields. So once you get all the errands down, uh, place your wizards for some freezes on the lane so they don't push that far or to stop them a little. And when you get that, you can place your magmas on wave 11 because you're Aces are pretty much dealing with the lane right now. And then make sure on wave 11, don't click anywhere near the middle. You want to click somewhere near the green spot, just in case. And then wave 12 is when the second to last boss hits. 
And then what you want to do here is place down all three of your magmas. Your magmas will be doing DPS, the same thing with your aces. That's the reason why we have both aces and magmas. But our aces are going to be doing DPS to Frieza on round 15. And then our magmas are going to be doing DPS to the ground unit. So you can do DPS to the boss and the ground unit at the same time. And then of course, uh, you're probably not gonna max out your unit all the way for your spade because it's, as you see here on wave 15, my units are really not maxed. I am upgrading my Shardless Magician for an extra freeze. And then as you can see here, my Magma Marines and my spade aren't really fully maxed. I'm just upgrading them as times goes on. And then what you wanna do here is sell your farm unit because selling your farm unit will help out a lot because you get extra money. And then what you want to do is upgrade your units, your magmas with that money, and then whatever leftover money you have, upgrade your spades. And then as you can see here, uh, Freezer is dead, and all we have to do is just clear the other units that are coming in. I do hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.